now let's see about chained exception in java programming language generally whenever we get an exception then simply we will displace that exception related messages but we will not display why that exception has occurred what is the actual reason for getting that exception we will not bother about that whereas chained exception means whenever we get an exception then in addition to displaying that exception information message we will also display the actual reason behind why we got that exception so that is nothing but chained exception uh, let's take an example arithmetic exception the best example for arithmetic exception is division by zero so division by zero means denominator value is zero whereas numerator is any value it may be 10 20 30 75 it may be any other value okay uh, actually we will get arithmetic exception because of an input output operation so this is nothing but an ivo operation so here what we are doing is here here uh, the actual exception is arithmetic exception but the cause of this exception exception the root cause of this exception is an ivo exception so in addition to displaying arithmetic exception we need to display its root cause that is nothing but ivo exception message also that is nothing but chained exception so chained exception means uh, in addition to displaying exception information if you displace uh, the root cause of that exception then it is called as chained exception let's see this example uh, here we are using ivo package why because in this program we are using ivo exception ivo exception class is present in ivo package okay uh, next class uh, name of the class is uh, chained exception uh, next uh, public static void main string ox so we know that execution will start from the main method uh, next here we have a try block so within the try block we have these statements arithmetic exception e is equal to new arithmetic exception of exception so here we have created an object for the arithmetic exception so arithmetic exception e is equal to new arithmetic exception of so what is the message we are passing exception so e is nothing but an object but here the major reason for arithmetic exception is ivo exception your ivo operation okay so we are specifying that information here e dot here we have a method called init cause method so by using init cause method we are setting the cause of the exception so why we are getting this arithmetic exception so we are providing that information with the help of init cause method so init cause of new ivo exception so we know that new operator creates uh, that exception object so new operator creates uh, ivo exception object of here the message is this is the actual cause of exception so why we are getting arithmetic exception because of ivo exception because of ivo operation so here the statement is e dot init cause of new ivo exception of the message is this is actual cause of uh, exception next we have to close the two right parentheses okay so next one throw e so we know the advantage of throw keyword throw keyword throws the corresponding exception object to the corresponding catch block here what is e arithmetic exception so th throw keyword throws arithmetic exception object to the corresponding catch block so this is the catch block which handles arithmetic exception system dot out dot println of e so now arithmetic exception object information will be printed so this is the message java dot lang dot arithmetic exception so we know that arithmetic exception class is present in the lang package colon so here what is the message that we passes here we passes uh, an exception so that here exception will be printed okay next system dot out dot println of e dot get cause method e dot get cause method so whenever this get cause method is executed then the control goes to the init cause so this corresponding information will be printed now so what is the information here we have uh, so the control goes to the init cause init cause so here we have ivo exception 
uh, here IO exception class is also present in uh, LANG package, but here we are performing some IO operation. So that's that's why here I am importing the IO package. So Java dot LANG dot IO exception colon. So what is the message which we are passing here? This is actual cause of the exception. So this message will be printed. So this is about uh, chain exception in uh, Java programming language. So whenever this uh, get cars method is executed, then the control goes to the init cars and this message will be printed. Okay. So new IO exception. So IO exception class is uh, present in what? Lang package. So Java dot lang dot IO exception. And this is the message. So this uh, so this message will be written and it will be printed here. Okay. So control goes to the get cars and this information will be passed here this object information will be passed here now uh, io exception object will be stored here and e dot uh, that information will be printed here like this so this is about uh, chained exceptions in java programming language